It's the Eagle Community Television Forum with your host, Gary Shorman. Hi everyone, this is the Forum on Eagle Community Television. It's great to have you watching our program as we have a new guest, new guest in our community, new guest on our program. His name is Chad Meitner and Chad is the new principal at TMP Marion right here in Hayes. Chad, good to have you on our program. Good to be here, thank you. You know what, one of the things first off is where are you from because all of a sudden you're showing up in Hayes as the new principal at TMP. Tell me a little bit about your background. Well, I was um, raised in Hoisington and I remember um, at that time, Hoisington High School and TMP were in the same mm -hmm. activities league, and so we remember, I remember coming to Hayes a lot, or uh, TMP coming to Hoisington to, for different activities. Um, professionally, I was uh, in Salina for five years with um, Sacred Heart High School as a Spanish teacher, and then uh, became a principal at Sacred Heart in Dodge City, um, where I've been principal for the last five years, and I'm coming from Dodge City and excited to start at TMP this year. Well, I know enrollment is just coming up here uh, next week, but in that process, are you in the moving? Or are you here full time yet? Or what is your? We're partially here. We're waiting for our home to sell in Dodge City. So, uh, but we're we're renting here until we can get uh, settled more firmly. But we anticipate, uh, God willing, being here for a long, long time. Tell me what led you to uh, the private school side of things, because you know there's a big public school push with with a lot of things changing there. Private school still has a change, but it has a whole different venue from the religious aspect here at TMP. Right. Well, I think that it's important for private and public schools to work together. Um, we all have the same goals, really, and that's creating um, students who can graduate and get out into the world and be good citizens, who can help be leaders. And, um, you know, I was drawn to the private school um, partially because of my faith. Um, I grew up in the, the Catholic faith and being able to raise my kids in that faith and seeing some of those um, timeless um, standards or timeless values that we can pass on to the kids um, that aren't always something you can do in a public school setting. And those values are something I think in our country we've always um, held firm and, and valued for a long time. And our society usually has a lot of good um, repercussions when we have citizens who care about each other or willing to sacrifice for the good of the community. And that's the types of things that Catholic schools have historically tried to instill in all their students. How did you find TMP or how did TMP find you? Um, well, I've always known about TMP, so and they have a great reputation around the state, um, going to conferences and places um, where I'd run into folks from TMP or other educators. There was just always something about that, oh, you're from TMP, that carried a little bit of a clout with it. Um, in January, I was approached by the superintendent of Salina Diocese and some officials from TMP to consider applying and um, having been in a public or excuse me in a Catholic school principal position before um, I felt like I kind of knew what it would take to be the principal at TMP and um, so I applied and like Didn't I said no, you're here. I'm right here yeah happy I, to be here. What, what advantages did you bring when you were doing the interview? Uh, why did they choose you? Well, that's a good question. They, <laughs> they might be second guessing themselves here in a few weeks. Somehow I doubt that. Well, I hope not. Um, I think what they were looking for was someone who understood a, a, the school governance because public schools and Catholic schools are different and they're governed differently. And so having a little bit of experience about how that works and comfort level with being able to come in and, and make sure the communication is, is going well is important. Um, and then I think just the fact that I you know, I'm not going to apologize for um, what our school teaches, and that's our strength. And so I'm, I'm a firm believer that Catholic schools have a lot to offer this country and this community, and um, we'll strive to be good stewards of that and a part of this community, and uh, like TMP has been for over 100 years. I know one of the things that you bring, you mentioned you uh, were a Spanish teacher over in Salina when you mm -hmm. were teaching there. Being bilingual brings a whole different angle to it as well. It's, well, it's a... Uh, an advantage, I think, for anybody in any situation. Even if you're in a community that doesn't have a large amount of, uh, of you know, immigrant population, to be able to be um, communicating with folks in their native language is, is very powerful. And um, you know, encouraging kids in classes and in school to become bilingual, whether it's in Spanish, which is the most common, mm -hmm. but even to be in other languages, just makes them a well-rounded uh, person, which again is a Catholic school goal to not just be so uh, focused on one skill, but to try to become well-rounded 
Uh, well, if you have some classes, I, I tried French, I tried Spanish, neither one of mine is very good at, so I may need to re-enroll in, in uh, some classes to make that you're work. You're never too old to learn. It, <laughs> it just takes time is what they tell me. It just takes time, which is a precious commodity, so yes. it's school hard. right around the corner. Um, what goals do you have for the 2015-16 school year? I think for, for our school, it's to reimagine who we are, not imagine, but restate who we are and to have that clarity going forward. Um, you know, there's been a lot of changes over the last few years, and sometimes with that, you forget sometimes what your focus is. And so we'll just come in and we'll say, here's TMP's mission, and you know, which is to create students who are well-rounded, leaders, and academic excellence, and to continue to for, uh, you know, work towards making that a part of everything we do. Because even the little things that you do every day have an impact on that bigger goal. I know there's, there's a huge parent support background, but financially that's one of those things, and I know the parents are, are behind you 100% out at TMP. Well, I think in any organization, the more people you have that are involved, the better. And whether we agree or disagree on certain things, we are 100% in agreement of what our, our overall goal is, and that's to make the school a better place for the kids and that in turn makes it a better place for Hayes in the community. So, yeah, whether we have some disagreements on um, the way to get there, our goal's always the same. And the parent support is, is phenomenal. And even non-parents, alumni, folks who haven't been in Hayes for 50 years, but I've heard from um, recently about just being supportive and wishing me the best. And um, I mean, that's, that's humbling when you see the love that people have for that school and this community uh, and this, this entire county, really. Um, it's a special place to be. We'll talk about that and some of the changes going on at TMP and some of the structural changes just in the facility itself. When we come back, our guest is Chad Meitner and he is the new principal at TMP. Back after this from Hayes Med. Hayes Med is your first and best choice for healthcare. They're the only facility providing tertiary level services in this region. With more than 70 physicians and 26 specialties, ranging from heart, orthopedic, spine care, cancer, obstetrics and gynecology, wound care, rehabilitation and surgery, including the Da Vinci robotic surgery, Hayes Med is your comprehensive health provider for people throughout Western Kansas. Hayes Med, helping people be healthy. It's a beautiful day in our super high speed internet great customer service neighborhood. Like you, this is where we live. In fact, our company is employee owned, so it's our goal to improve the quality of life for everyone in our community by delivering faster, more reliable internet, clearer, more feature laden phone service, quality TV channels, all with the level of customer service you'd expect from people who are your neighbors. Eagle Communications, our community connected. Welcome back to the second half of our forum program here on Eagle Community Television. The forum is brought to you by Hayes Med. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, ideas for program, you can send them to me at gary.shorman at eaglecom.net. I'd like to hear from you. You can also go on Facebook and check out previous programs as you can on hayespost.com where you can go online and see some of our former programs, some of the past shows that we've had uh, with some of the guests from around the area and from around the country. Again, our program is brought to you by Hayes Med, and our guest is Chad Meitner. And Chad's a new principal at TMP Marion here in Hayes. And Chad, we left talking about some of the changes that are taking place from a structural standpoint. You've seen always some changes. construction around there. There always is change. What's going on over there at the building? Um, well, lots of things going on, as always. Um, the main administration building is going to get a new roof. Um, the filled house, Al Billinger filled house, will be getting new roofs as well and um, the basketball court will be being resurfaced and repainted and updated a bit, which is always exciting for the kids. Um, some other kind of minor things that go on but are just as important really in a building that's over you know, 100 years old. And accessibility is one of those things with an elevator that was put in mm -hmm. not too long ago as right. well. Yeah, and uh, yeah, maybe not one of the most noticeable things when you walk into the building, but for folks uh, with for access issues, it's been a great um, addition to have a a elevator that now from people coming into the entrance on the um, be the northeast side of the building there's no stairs they can come right in and then there's an elevator to take them to any floor of the building they need to get to. Well Chad I know school starts right around the corner somebody has a student they know that's making a decision where to go 
How do they get hold of somebody at TMP if they want to find out the advantages of going to a private school? Okay, yeah, well, if first thing I would always recommend is coming and talking to some folks at TMP, myself or our admissions director, Angie Roth, um, give us a call and we can always give you a quick tour and explain a little bit more about our mission and what that looks like for uh, a student coming in from, you know, whether it's coming from another school or if they're coming into seventh grade um, from, from the start. Um, our website is tmp-m.org. Uh, now, you also have students that are the, what I call them boarding students, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. I mean, and I know one of the things that you learned early on is you had a chance to board when you were actually with some of the early, some of your early teaching, is that correct? Oh yeah, uh, um, I had kind of forgotten about that, but we had, um, I had taken as a teacher students down to foreign countries to uh, um, learn Spanish and to get their language skills and cultural awareness improved and so we would often stay in dormitories or um, religious orders houses and um, the experiences you gain from that and that's actually another big change that mm -hmm. I didn't even mention uh, is that the boarding program is shifted for the temporary for the time being to a host family model and what that is is where instead of a dorm like setting for the foreign students or students from abroad they will stay with a host family and so there's over 20 families in Hayes who've opened their doors to accept a student from another country um, to, for the school year um, while we transition whether we're, you know, what kind of boarding program we're going to have in the future. Um, so yeah, that's a, a unique element because it brings in a lot of different viewpoints for our students who are day students to uh, get a little taste of the world uh, beyond Ellis County. That is, a, that's a unique, that international factor is interesting. So where do they go online again? Uh, tmp-m.org. All right, Chad, thanks for being on our program. Welcome to our community. My pleasure. Well, we're excited to be here. Thank Chad you. Meitner is our guest, the new principal at TMP Marion here in Hayes. Our program is brought to you by Hayes Med and by Eagle Communications, our community connected. Hayes Med is your first and best choice for health care. They're the only facility providing tertiary level services in this region. With more than 70 physicians and 26 specialties, ranging from heart, orthopedic, spine care, cancer, obstetrics and gynecology, wound care, rehabilitation and surgery, including the Da Vinci robotic surgery, Hayes Med is your comprehensive health provider for people throughout Western Kansas. Hayes Med, helping people be healthy.